Pakistan receives most of its rainfall due to monsoon winds. Monsoon is a seasonal wind which starts or originates from a water body and it moves towards land. This wind is caused due to pressure difference in between sea and land. This pressure difference is directly linked with the temperature difference over land and over sea. As we have discussed previously that the land heats up quickly and it loses its heat quickly. Water on the other hand does not heat up very quickly thus there is a temperature difference. During the summer months the land heats up and there is extreme temperature experienced on the land both in India and Pakistan. This extreme temperature causes the air above the land to heat up as we have learned that the heated air rises up. When this warm air would rise up it would leave behind a low pressure zone. This low pressure zone would attract wind from high pressure zone which is prevailing in the water body that is adjacent to this land. Now this water body which is the Indian Ocean it has low temperature as compared to the land and the air above it is moist it is dense and there is a high pressure zone over the water bodies so these winds start blowing from sea towards land they blow from Bay of Bengal and they cross Bangladesh and India in a south in a northwestern direction and then they reach Pakistan as they have crossed a huge area they have crossed India uh, when they reach in Pakistan that's why they have lost most of their moisture when these winds reach Pakistan they hit the northern mountains so it's the tail end of the monsoon system which affects the eastern part of Pakistan as these winds hit the northern mountains condensation takes place and rainfall occurs so most of the monsoon rainfall occurs in the northern parts of Pakistan these winds after hitting the northern mountains they move towards south as the mountains act as a barrier when these moves uh, when these winds move towards south they have lost most of their moisture and aridity starts increasing the amount of moisture starts decreasing in these winds that's why most of the rainfall due to monsoon winds is caused in the mountains and towards the upper part of upper Indus plain by the time these winds reach towards the lower part of upper Indus plain such as Multan and then they reach in the lower Indus plain they have lost most of their mo moisture that's why they cause very less amount of rainfall in these areas if we talk about the coastal area the eastern part of Pakistan in which we have the coastline of Sin we have Karachi and Tata these areas would also receive monsoon rainfalls if the monsoon system is overactive. It means during times when this monsoon wind is extreme, wind from Arabian Sea would travel towards land that is towards the coastal areas of Pakistan. Thus it would cause rainfall in the coastal areas of Sin as well but it is not quite common so we receive a little amount of rainfall during monsoon season in the coastal areas of Sin
Western disturbance is an extratropical storm which originates from Mediterranean region. It brings winter rainfall and snowfall in the northern, northwestern and western parts of Pakistan. Most of the moisture in this wind or in this extratropical storm it is taken from the Mediterranean Sea from Caspian Sea and Black Sea as the winds originate from the Mediterranean Sea they start moving towards the east with westerlies which is a system of winds that moves from west towards east so these winds which have moisture in them and they have absorbed moisture on their way from Caspian Sea and Black Sea they keep on moving towards east and when they reach in Pakistan in the northern part they hit the mountains as mountains act as barrier when they hit mountains they cause precipitation precipitation at higher altitude would be in form of snowfall and at the relatively lower altitudes it would be in form of rainfall after hitting the mountains the winds tend to move towards south before entering in Pakistan these winds have covered a huge area a huge area on land they have come from Iran Afghanistan and the other countries so they have lost most of their moisture that's why they cause rainfall but not a lot of it most of the precipitation due to these winds occur in the northern and northwestern parts and the Quetta region of Balochistan. These winds are important for the development of rabi crop which is the crop that is sown during winter season. Western disturbance is important as it brings rainfall in winter season when the monsoon is not adding water to the water bodies of Pakistan but at times it causes condition like flooding uh, in the northern parts and Balochistan Convection currents cause thunderstorms and rainfalls in the northern and northwestern parts of Pakistan. This happens in the months of April to June and October, November. How this rainfall occurs, as we have studied in the previous topics, the surface of Earth is heated by the sun and the warm surface also heats up the air that is above it hot air always rises so when the hot air or warm air rises up it cools down at the higher elevation and the process of condensation starts as this process continues and further air rises and cools it causes large amount of condensation to occur and clouds are formed these clouds are very heavy and they cause heavy rains with thunder and lightning as in the beginning i have told you that only the upper parts of pakistan receive this kind of rainfall so if we talk about the southern parts sin and balochistan this kind of rainfall is not experienced here because of the temperature inversion layer the temperature inversion layer acts as a cap on the upward movement of air from the layers below. It means the convection currents which are produced by the heating of air from below would be limited as the air would not be allowed to rise to the higher levels thus this kind of rainfall that is caused due to convection currents would not be experienced in the southern parts of Pakistan.
Relief rainfall is also referred as orographic rainfall. It occurs when the moist air is forced to rise over a mountain barrier such as the Himalayas in the north of Punjab plain. As the wind which is moist it hits the mountain barrier it is forced to rise and as it reaches at a certain altitude process of condensation takes place. Now most of the rainfall takes place on the windward side of the mountain it is the side which is faced by the wind as most of the moisture is utilized in the rainfall on this side when the wind due to gravity moves and sinks towards the other side it has lost most of its moisture that is why it would not cause a lot of rainfall towards the leeward side it is known as the rain shadow effect do you remember the cold desert in the northern parts of Pakistan in Skardu this area receives less amount of rainfall because it is situated on the leeward side and it experiences the rain shadow effect. Tropical storms form over water that is around 25 to 27 degrees Celsius in temperature. The warm water heats the air above it causing it to rise rapidly. Cooler air from elsewhere rapidly moves in to replace the rising air and this process starts again. Now as the air rises rapidly it cools as it ascends and forms clouds. As this process continues huge clouds are formed and this cyclone moves quickly over water as long as it has warm enough water to keep the storm energized. Once it reaches over land where there is less moisture and the surface is cooler, tropical storm quickly calm down. But before they calm down, they cause a lot of rainfall, thunder showers in the areas they hit. So the main effects of tropical storms are very strong winds, torrential rains and storm surges. These can cause massive damage and huge loss of life in the coastal areas. When the storms reach the coastal area, they cause heavy winds and strong winds which would result in high tides and this can cause damage to the coastal communities.